Sometimes places are just too dangerous to explore. And not even just because of the buildings. It's the people. People are scarier than ghosts and demons. That's a fact. And this is one of those places. This is Clunes Park Estate, Glasgow, Scotland. And yes, we've been here before. Last year, in fact. About the same time of year. But I had to come back. I had to bring Josh. I had to get into more of those apartments. I had to see the places that we didn't see last time. This place is nearly all abandoned. About 98%. There's only about four or five tenants still remaining in the 400 flats. But on this journey, we're gonna discover some horrifying findings. We don't just end up in a drug den, but we end up in a murder scene and we figure out who it was who was murdered. And it was absolutely terrifying the way the body was found. But if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. All the support helps us so much make these videos. And trust me, it takes some guts to go and film this place. to drop me off here on the motorway. Yeah. <laughs> it should. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Which for some days peaceful next day they'll be shooting at a house on fire on the street. Fucking hell man. There's a school and stuff abandoned. School, a church. And at once I stopped there and sat in the car for half hour and I was wiped. Do you see a hotel or something? <laughs> like just drop me off there, like a mall or some shit. No, honestly, I don't even want to go. I'm being super serious. Someone's paying to kill like a... It's bad, but it's not as bad as you think. Someone from the US. These, these are just made-up stories. Made-up no, stories? No, no those are fucking probably true. Well, no, I'm actually reading uh, an article. Yeah. <laughs> this is where gangs go to live. Yeah. It's not even a van place. It's literally a drug meeting ground. Have you ever seen that? Look, the Low Police Scotland uh, Fire and Rescue he refused to come. Yeah, they won't go there. Yeah. When we got there, funny I'm enough, done. You bro, I'm fucking actually, done. When, when we got <laughs> no. there, a fire brigade was there putting out a fire. A fire, yeah. To be fair, any place the I've ever went to. gradually wanted to knock the place down, but locals were basically building up gangs. I read on. Well, I read online, it said 14 fires happened and like no deaths on the last eight months. It was just shootings and like robberies. Really? Just yeah. shooting. Shoot, just shootings and robberies. It's bullying. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is no one died. <laughs> yeah, they got lucky. And and that's like collected data like from the whole eight months. Yeah. If we go there and we're just strangers, not going to do anything to us. There's no... You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. They see us filming, they're going to be like, are you feeling the fucking drug deal? It's like... Just say, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm in Interpol. Just uh, I'm Interpol police. I don't know. I don't even care. I got like two two years worth of videos. I'm here from uh, this. <laughs> so you're from the States RPD, Raccoon Police Department. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a special agent wrote in here from the RCP. You see, you're, you're looking for a detective who went missing five years ago. You know? <laughs> Leon. Do, you, do you have any information? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have you seen Chris? Or Jill? They <laughs> <laughs> went in a mansion. No, I really don't want to go. Don't take me. Please don't take you me. You can attack me as many times as you want, but I've got five herbs on me. <laughs> oh, the way, there's no killings. We were just fucking shooting. Hey, shooting with no killing. Bro, though. he told me there was a, there's a killing there every week. That security guy. I bet, I bet, I bet it's it's probably off. Really, uh, I mean, it's probably from drugs. I mean, it's covered up by the uh, Scottish. Yeah, yeah, it has. Well, it will be. I mean, look at the. Imagine how bad it would look, Scotland. I mean, I mean, yeah. you know, sorry for my Scottish viewers. You know, I am half Scottish. I do have pride in Scotland, but 
Scotland is like the worst drug capital of Europe, and Nicola Sturgeon is blind to it. And I know she covers some things up, so... I know I'm going to title this video. The oh. worst city in Europe. Yeah, it, it potentially is. That's how they trap us. You look like hillbilly, man. Like, fuck your sisters. Very dope. Well, there's a nice graveyard, though. Yeah. I'll just wait there for you guys. This is all the people that come and visit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, explore. Yeah, there's holes there. Ready. Yeah, yeah that's just ready. so. Okay, that's uh, taking away the last victim, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> They're every hour on the dot, like taxi service. <laughs> I love there's another ambulance taking away. Need to quit someone else. There's a like gas station here. People shine your light and how are actually nice to people. It's like a grocery right store. Seen right now. No, but the issue is that guy over there, that property management, comes out fucking as soon as he sees anyone on campus. Basically, he, he tries to sell, he tries selling places around the beer. So you can imagine when people turn up with cameras and filming it. Yeah, tell like we're it. promoting it. Yeah, no, we'll get you some sales. They don't like it, trust me. And he might just make a phone call. That's my worry. Is he phones like a lot of guys in my or there's people that look make look bad. Trust me, we're good bags. We're good here. If Steve's not filming, Steve can sit in the driver's seat with the engine running, anything happens, pump the horn and just start driving around the block. Oh, they, they, dude, if someone approaches me, I'm just I'm not I'm just, I'm just I'm just dipping. Yeah, we pump the horn. Yeah, I'll so pump the horn and I'm dipping. Yeah, but if, don't, if, don't if someone even comes close to this car, starts walking towards me, knocks on the window, dude, I'm fucking going. No, you're not. You're gonna just drive around, the, drive around in circles. Don't leave us to die. Just drive around in circles. I'm taking the keys with me. No. Please don't leave us, Steve. All right. No, seriously. I won't. You, you've heard it here, guys. If anything goes down. I'm not gonna leave, but if something approaches me, I'm just gonna start driving around the block. If yeah. anything, I'm looking for property nearby. Right. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay. But if it's too dangerous out here, I'll be down at the gas station. <laughs> right, okay, as you've already seen, we have returned to Clunes Park Estate. We're gonna go into more buildings that we didn't go into last time. Steve is staying in the car, he's petrified, he's staying in it. look he's even got his hand on the key ready in case someone could... look at him. <laughs> look, he is not messing around. 
he's petrified. Um, we're going to go in, see what we can see, what we didn't see last time. Avoid any gangs, avoid any drugs, avoid any prostitution. Because you already know this place is rife with it. And I'm telling you now, this place is a fast track to heaven or hell. There you can see the remnants of the old uh, school. Um, this is the front of the school. We've got the church. All of it abandoned still. Everything's abandoned. Josh, we're going in. Last time it was really kind of rushed. This time we're actually going to look in detail in some of the apartments here. The, the leftovers, the remnants of families that used to live here, now taken over by nothing but violence. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Rat poop or just dog food? I don't know. If you're going to have a flat opposite, it's got a double burden on it. See, I did see stuff like this last time. I do know there is some properties that are still quite well kept. Upstairs, Josh. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I'm down. 
Yeah. You want to go up? Yeah. I think if there's any creepy uh, people here, they would be upstairs. If that's the thing, though, you got to watch out. We didn't see stuff like this last time. We're gonna go for as many as we can. Until we eventually find someone, we gotta leave. Like that one there. There's gotta be people behind that door. upstairs in that place. Um, as I said, there's 20 people still living in this estate, so it's mad to think you walk through these doorways and see them in places. Yeah, so that's the school, obviously the church. I really want to get in the school. You look back there, you can see there's still uh, paintings and drawings on the wall from the kids when they used to go to school here. Silent memories. Days gray. I just get pure I am legend vibes, you know, you don't want to go into the darkness in case what comes out, the I shadows. Legend, yeah, honestly, 
Silent Hill, Chernobyl kind of vibes. I get, I'm getting a lot of that here. Dave's splitting off, so he's going to get murdered first. Dave is splitting off. What was down there? Like... Bike sheds of some sort bike, at the bottom. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Yeah. You ready? We're going to the courtyard. Dude, they literally just threw all the appliances, like fridges, from upstairs down here. Yeah. So down here? Yeah. Good luck. Oh, shit. This is slippery, bro. Okay. So, I flew the drone here last time. I never actually got to this point because, quite frankly, I didn't. I didn't tear this place. It's literally a hellhole. Get it. Josh even said it. I said it last time. I haven't been to Chernobyl, but I've been to Battleship Island, and this place, this scene in particular, looks like Battleship Island. I'll show you which bit I'm on about. Yeah, do you remember? I think we nicknamed it God's. Co Was it God's Corridor? We nicknamed it. Did we nickname that spot in Battleship Island God's Corridor, or God's Alley, or something like that? Weren't it? It was, the, the sun was coming down, it was just perfect. Yeah, yeah, I that. It was, yeah, it was that spot, it looks just like it. Apart from they were, they were higher and there wasn't as much grass. Then we have to prank Steve. We're, we're gonna, gonna prank Steve. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use our smoke bombs or one of them, run to the car, just freak. Stop it, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Send, Bro, send, send me the blood fake blood. I was gonna say, <laughs> <was gonna say, laughs> wait, wait, you got blood? No. <laughs> that would've oh, been brilliant. Like, I know what you could do. Um, someone, you're holding your chest like you're like you're holding your wound, like you got stabbed, and, and well, you two could run out and say Dice just been stabbed. Okay, yeah, and okay. Then, come, but, but and then you come out like that. this. Yeah. You're not thinking of the bigger picture. He's gonna start that car up, and he's just gonna put his foot down, not be able to turn the car. He's gonna go straight through someone's wall. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he has no power steering right now. So <laughs> when you turn his wheel, it can't turn. But we have to try it. It'll be crazy. Bro, he's gonna take out half half of the village. <laughs> That car will go for everything. <laughs> We're 100% doing it. Stick to the plan out there. <laughs> so we were just talking amongst ourselves. And I remember I said I was going to come back here at night, but it's just so dangerous. I mean, it's so dangerous. But, but, 
this is a very very unreachable target we uh, will never reach this target that's why i'm quite confident in saying with 50,000 likes i will stay overnight i will camp out in one of the rooms i said 50,000 likes 50, yeah i'll never get 50,000 likes on this video but if we do <laughs> if we do so yeah no, you're right. I'll cut your head off that thing. Going for 50k likes. I'm not going to reach it, so I'm quite right. confident in saying. I'm not as big as Dan, but I'm going to say 50 as well, so I feel quite safe that I haven't got to do this. But if it hits 50,000, me and Dan, if his hits 50, and mine hits 50, and Josh hits 100k. 100k. <laughs> 100. So you remember this 100k, 50, 50, we will all come back here and we'll spend the night here. I'm telling you now, it's a different story. But we're going to do it properly, we'll bring our own tents, we'll camp out inside one of the old rooms and not on the first floor, we're talking like the top floor, so we hear everything that goes on below us, all the drug deals, all the prostitution. Oh yeah, so there's drugs. This place I've heard at night is complete. One or the other. It's kind of crazy, the belongings are still left here. We've got a children's toy there. This someone's glasses chilling in the overgrowth. Yeah, be careful, boys. This is just, um, you know, like you know, Silent Hill where it all goes dark and dingy and stuff. This is kind of like one of those little bits of remnants from what happens at night when everything changes. That's insane. Everything changes. But it does hurt you, don't know. Yeah. When you look at the analytics, it really fucking like. Make fucks with your mind, and not it? A guy just looked at us and just yeah. left. Really? Yeah, he, he looked at us, stared at us, and just walked away. Well, he left now. Now he's outside. So we might be I don't know. We could go the other way. We can go on this one and go up. Yeah. Yeah, they might just thought how the hell we couldn't get through to the block. Another one. Look at this one. I'm going to jump that ball. I don't think it hurt that stick. It's because it's like a guy. I've never seen him. Yeah, like a straw. I think he does. What do they look like, though? He looks like a regular dude. Huh? Yeah, I think, uh, maybe. I don't even know. It's like a dungeon. Man, this place is, is all snow like burnt. This is one of them doors I was telling you about. The metal ones. The floor's all gone. The floor's gone? Yeah, floor's had a big fire man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a yeah. Charlene lever, lever leaves. Can't really see. Did you get him on camera? Uh, yeah. Well, a little bit, but here you left. Just a random dude. You see him? Again? Yeah, you see me. I'm not doing a lot, sorry. More box. Dead pigeons. Straight up. I want to show you this now. Now that we're higher. Whoa.
Where's that stuff? I was just saying, what is that stuff? What the hell is it? It's everywhere. So this is one of the doors I was saying. You put these on. It's super hard to get through. Super difficult. This is where the drug deals are go down inside here. This is for security. Yeah, like if you want to keep your drugs from getting stolen. Why is some of these doors in these apartments? I mean, that door is pretty badass. We have some of the finest apartments here. So that's the top floor of this one I'm done. I'm gonna move on to the next one. People are wondering why we're here. There's two guys in a 4x4 watching us. Oh fuck. That doesn't sound good. What's that? About, all right, then let's go inside one of these quick. Yeah. But, there's no sounding on my stuff. Four? Four of them. Who's four of us? <laughs> it's four of them. <laughs> how, how do they look like? like? What are they doing? What are they doing? Right, but yeah, I'll swear I'm a lot. Alright, guys, let's see where we're going. Alright, it's going to be the entire Well, but again, you know, it's safe to be by yourself. So we're going to go check out one of these buildings all together because we're going to see some pretty sketchy people. I have a few other offices to bro. This one's on. I think they look sealed, but some, that one's locked up, but I don't think this... you will be able to open it, I reckon. Should we check this one, or do you want to go on that one? Yeah, go on this one, I've not been in any of these. That's a new security lock. Well, I reckon people live in here. That's a camp. That's a camp. Oh, there's actually... That's a ring one, I'll go that. So I'm losing the first one. No, but, okay, so this one's actually lived by people. People lived in here. This monster lives there now. Are you? This monster. It's got the ring stick on the door. Oh, shit. Well, that's... We can go upstairs. He's probably getting notified right now. What if we knock phone. it? If the ring cameras, he's getting notified. Right. What if we knock? To the no. torches. Oh, yeah, it's a drug deal. Ah, uh, yeah, but no. no. Should we go upstairs, or should yeah. we... Yeah. You ready? Well, I want to try and see as much as we can. Here then. Uh, I don't know. And I want to get the drones. It's crazy to think there's a guy 
everything downstairs, the first floor. It's pretty nice to And then you've got this bit up the screen. It doesn't make sense though. There has to be more reason. Why would they leave all their furniture in every one? No idea. Unless when you buy the place, it comes with the furniture already. You know, I've seen that happen in some places. I just don't get it. I mean, no one needs your TV. I mean, I don't have There's a lot of stuff in here, too. There is. Way more than the first building I just explored. There really is. Yeah, but what? What the hell? It goes all the way down to the next floor, and then down to the next floor, and to the next floor. <laughs> it's a never ending. <laughs> but bro, look at this. Yeah, this oh, was a. Uh, yeah, this was a bad this place. Is letters. letters and everything. We had to read some of them. Look at this. It's almost it's a lot of different drugs, cigarettes. Yeah, be careful. Look at the needles everywhere. You got the mask. I've seen that. Yeah, Little look. Fire. Yo, dude. Heroin. Yup. Literally, literally heroin here. Heroin? Yeah, dude. They, this is where they heat it. They they heat it up on this. This, this was a. Yeah, they, oh, see, shit. the reason why they've got that metal door on here is because this was a high house. Yeah. No, this was a legit one. You got the heroin right here. All the needles. Just watch the floor. It's a bank card everything. Look at their prescribed stuff. I don't even know what that is. It's just needles lighter. everywhere. Watch out, Dude. don't get nicked here. This is the mask house. Oh, it just doesn't look at it all. Yeah, so much. You know, it's a different drugs. Probably really heroin here. 216. It's like a bank card. It's horrible. And then you see Maybe like a chill. You see like a children's bag on the floor, it's horrible. Dear mom, I know a letter is not going to do much to change how you are feeling towards me right now, but I just wanted to try and explain a few things and try and say how I've been feeling because I never know quite how to say things and end up. Just a nervous, happy, gibbering mess, mom. I generally feel at my lowest point and I have absolutely no idea whatsoever now to shake myself down and to get back up. I know that I am dragging you down with me and that's so dis disgra disgraceful and unfair and I know it must be really hard for you to believe in me, but I generally do feel so terrible about what we've done to you. I feel like a complete and utter scumbag and I truly hate myself for it. Mom, I just, I just feel as if that my life is falling apart and crashing down all around me and I don't know how to stop it. Mom, I know it's been five months and six days, but honestly, I just can't um, blank. Oh, that's how it works. Yep. I can't coop on being on my own. I just get used to it, and I don't have the first clue on how to deal with it. I know that you said uh, having Nicole there helped you a lot, but how it, how do each do you deal with the loneliness? I know... It's time to heal and things uh, will get better. But when, how, and why? I know that I know that I really need to snap out of it, but how? Health is rapidly deteriorating. I lost all hope. Oh, Interest in life. Yep. Do, do you think this never got through our mum though? Obviously it's still here. It's problem. still, yeah, the letter's still here. What does it say at the end? What does it say? Send me a wee... Oh, money, five pounds. No, oh, no. And on the back of here, he's asking his mom if he can send him like five pounds. Um, things like that. Oh, he's asking mom if they, I don't know, say something about like, yeah, asking for underwear, uh, asking for, a you know, different stuff. He's saying that they don't want to drink no more. I just need a break from it all. Oh, some more notes here. To my dearest darling soulmate, I still can't believe that it will never, that I will never see your gorgeous, sexy, wee smile again. 
never be able to lie in your arms again, never feel so loved again. You are my world, my universe, my everything. You were the reason I woke up every morning to your beautiful smile and fell asleep safe and secure in your arms where I belong. I long to be by your side, my angel, but I know that you wouldn't want that, but it's so hard without you. I know that you are up there watching over me, keeping me safe, and you'll be there waiting for me when it's my time to be back in your side. You are my first love, my last love, my forever true love, and you will never leave my heart for all eternity. If love alone could have saved you, you never would have gone, my angel. You truly made me the person I am today. You taught me so much, and I am so privileged to be have to. Have, and I am so privileged to have shared a part of my life with you, with such a wonderful man. You'll never, you will never for, you will forever be in my heart and soul till we meet again. Sleep tight, precious angel. All oh, my eternal. Undying love, your wee Bambi always, Alison. So that was written. That was that was written to someone who had already died. That's it's uh, pretty sad. So as she was writing this note, she knew no one would ever read it. He would never receive it because he'd already gone. So I think this one is written from Alison again. So it's a long one. I think I think it's yeah. So this is written from Alison, and I'm thinking this this is actually when uh, the guy was alive because she states, "Hey, honey, how are you, babe? I am not too bad. Firstly, I am so so sorry about your wee Charlene Hun. I was truly shocked to hear about it all." Especially just across the road from my flat. As I've said to you before, she was a, a wee diamond. A pest when she was drunk. But aren't we all? She had a heart of gold and she was a good, kind and generous wee lassie. I genuinely hope that the police find out exactly what happened to her for you. Uh, Willie and Tom, for Willie and Tom's sake, you'll be glad to know that I have lots of people. Um, obviously, Curd about her a lot because there is a lot of flowers cards and teddies a celtic scarf with her name uh another wee bits and bobs on the corner of my street will you be coming down for the funeral so here she's uh she's talking about across the street over here someone died a young girl died and uh, it had something to do with her boyfriend so a hell of a lot of death around this area a lot of it okay so i couldn't find anything on allison or neil online um i did do a bit of digging but unfortunately i couldn't find anything about them but i did find something about charlene and this is it so charlene unfortunately passed away and her body was discovered by some metal thieves when they were ripping out the floorboards that's right her body was hidden underneath the floorboards and was heavily decomposed um, these guys had gone in to steal some copper and uh, a family hadn't seen her for a while two weeks I think it was uh, she was underneath the floorboards um, horrible horrible news apparently what happened was her friend found her or deed inside the property and decided to put her under the floorboards because she'd panicked and yeah, I mean that is mind blowing. When I was in this in this uh, apartment reading these these letters, I had no idea this had happened. And we actually went through the, the actual property the, the body was found, and we didn't even know it. We didn't even know it. It goes to show you what goes on, what happens in the shadows. It's terrifying. And this one's a prison note. And now this is from when 
he was alive. Um, so yeah, his name was Neil, and this is when he was alive. Darling Bambi, I'm I'm sorry I let you down so badly. If you can get up, all you need is some for the first visit or ID for the first visit, and I will try to get the PO card handed. And over here, this is a a lot of mental health assessments and there's a lot going on here. Truly is uh, an emotional uh, flat and it goes to show you that the, the, it goes to show you the kind of situations where people were in around here. Drugs, drinking, death. That's so sad and still some of the belongings. We don't know what happened to Alison. I will, I, before I do the drone footage, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google I'm going to Google and find out what happened to Neil and if Alison's still alive. I'll see if I can find it. Alright, we're going to leave this. There we go. Alison and Neil forever. Oh, I've been into this one already. Oh, interesting. No. This one's relatively empty. Yeah, this one seems relatively empty, not like the other one downstairs where you could put pictures together of the life that the person had down there. Been a fire in this one. I think more drug paraphernalia. But just think someone sat here in this place in the condition it's in, possibly at night, doing this. that's it that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said it's going to be impossible 50k likes we will camp in here overnight a lot of us so yeah make sure that like button consider subscribing if you haven't already we've hit 300k subscribers thank you so much everyone who has subscribed to the channel if you haven't already click subscribe it doesn't cost anything or if you want to support the channel click the memberships and you can join you get special emoji uh special emojis you get special badge and it's your name and other perks you already know how it is anyway we're gonna take a trip back to my house crash out I'll catch you there Yo,